Ann Coulter went on Sean Hannity's show and talked about the government shutdown. And I need a staff of fact checkers to correct all of the garbage that she spews. Here with reaction to this late breaking development is the author of the soon to be coming out book, October the 14th, Never Trust a Liberal over uh, three, especially a Republican. How are you? Fine, thank you. You can just use the first part. Even, even in 1996, <laughs> they didn't shut down the memorial for, for crying out. No, yeah. not only that, they're, sh they're trying to shut down privately run areas. All of these privately run park areas that have not only never been shut down before, but take no federal money. They pay money, they pay rent to the Treasury, and they're losing money. They're not furloughed government workers who are going to be paid. This is absolutely 100% political. It's like when Obama said no White House tours mm -hmm. um, for the, the sequester. sequester, and then instantly uses Air Force One to fly his dog up to Martha's Vineyard. Normally, I don't comment on things like that. There's enough other things to complain about, but I it's the same. I forgot about the dog yeah. being flown to Martha's Vineyard. No, and is he uh. not going to go on vacation? He's doing this. Is to punish people so that he can blame Republicans when it is 100% the Democrats. I mean, aren't we de now down to they've given up on defunding Obamacare? Yeah, no, all they're saying is get rid of the exemptions. Yes, no, That's no. It. Then they go to Conference. delay it for a year, and now the government is shut down because Congress refuses to live under Obamacare. Defund, delay, just get rid of special exemptions, which I'm arguing with this Democrat. He doesn't well, even know the law. Well, let's make it clear. When you say special exemptions, it has to be said over and over again. Congress, the ones who passed this and told, tell us it's so great, they are refusing to live under Obamacare. That's, right. That's all Republicans are saying. They get a 72% saying. subsidy. You live under the laws. You pass for That's other right. people. They will not do it. This is what the entire fight has come down to right now. Um, and, and incidentally, when you first asked me whether you thought I should, they should shut down the government over mm -hmm. this, and usually I'm against the government shutdowns. I told you three reasons right. why I was for it this time. Yeah, but what, wait a second. So if the shutdown is good and it, you like it, which is what they're saying, then why would you blame the Democrats? If it's good and you're saying the Democrats did it, then aren't you saying the Democrats did something good? Because the thing is they try to have their cake and eat it too. They don't have any, you know, substantive criticism, so they just throw mud. And look, I actually... To make the contradiction more obvious for you, I, I clipped the two together so you could see it. This is within a minute of one point and then the other point. He's doing this to punish people so mm. that he can blame Republicans when it is 100% the Democrats. When you first asked me whether you thought I should, they should shut down the government over this, mm. and usually I'm against the government shutdowns, I told you three reasons right. why I was for it this time. That's awesome. It's 100% the Democrats' fault, which is why I'm for it. Boy, that doesn't make any sense. It's such an obvious contradiction. And look, let's go to the other thing she said, because Ann Coulter never disappoints in thinking that she's really serious and she's really smart, but being like one of the dumbest people in America. So I love her book, right? Uh, Sean Hannity's like, and joining us now for a comment is the author of uh, Liberals Are Evil and They Fuck Camels in the Ass While They Pee on Your Daughter, uh, Ann Coulter. Her books are always so, like, ridiculous, like they're from SNL or something. Uh, and notice what they cared so deeply about in that clip. They're like, oh my god, they shut down the parks and they didn't even have to shut down the parks. <laughs> of all of the things in the government shutdown to give a fuck about, literally the last thing is the park shutdowns. I don't care at all about the park shutdowns. How not substantive is that? Just like the White House tours. I remember Fox News did this on Fox and Friends. They did this huge segment. They shut down the White House tours and the second graders aren't allowed in. Oh, the horror. Meanwhile, what else happened during the sequester when they were blaming the, when they were talking about the shutdowns of the White House tours? Uh, cancer clinics were shutting down because they lacked funding for the sequester. Not a mention of that on Fox and Friends, but they talked about the White, the White House tours. Oh my God, the horror. How stupid are your priorities? Now they're talking about the parks when they could be talking about the $300 million that are wasted every day because of the government shut down, the hundreds of thousands of furloughed workers, the no more food inspections. You think that's maybe more important than fucking parks? The EPA shut down, what could go wrong? It's like we have chemical companies that will take advantage and dump their shit in the river and whatnot. No, 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 don't talk about any of that. Only talk about the parks. They're so stupid. Uh, and then, of course, the fake uh, talking point of the Republicans keep giving in. They said, first they said repeal, then they said we'll just defund, then they said we'll delay, and the Democrats are so unreasonable. 
No, you idiots. The health care debate happened in 2009, where the Democrats went from single payer to public option all the way to individual mandate, which is a Republican idea. That's when the debate happened for health care. Now the Republicans want to re-debate the funding of the law. That's not how the government works. You had the debate in 09. The debate is over now about that. And then the other bullshit talking point of, well, you know, Congress, man, uh, Congress is exempting themselves from the law. Okay. Remember the trillions of times that President Obama said, look, 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 Republicans, I, I'm going to appease you now. Look, if you have health care, don't worry about it. If you have your health care and you like it, Obamacare doesn't mean anything to you. It doesn't mean anything. It only applies to people who don't have health care or don't like their health care. That's what the law is, right? And the Republicans are like, okay, that's better than redoing the whole system. But now they're like, oh my God, Congress isn't accepting Obamacare. Because they all have health care already. And like he said, if you have health care, it doesn't affect you. So because of a provision that you uh, wanted, you're going to attack him over it now. But you wanted that provision in there. And then Hannity's like, and they, these uh, congressmen get a 72% subsidy. Uh, and he's saying it as if like, oh, look at these guys. They're lucky. They get the subsidy. Why don't the American people get it? Because you said you were the ones that argued against it. The Republicans said they don't want the American people to get a subsidy. The, giving the American people a, a full, uh, full coverage and having the government pay it in a, the form of a subsidy is single payer. And Sean Hannity hates that. But now when it's politically convenient, he goes, goddamn government won't give the American people the subsidy. Because you said you don't want us to. Oh my God, they're so stupid.